I'm Carl Potts, Executive Director of Saskatchewan Pulse Growers. Saskatchewan Pulse Growers and the University of Saskatchewan Crop Development Centre have a long-term strategic partnership to further the development of pulse crop varieties in Saskatchewan. I'm Michael Ardell and we are pedigreed seed producers near Vanskoy, just southwest of Saskatoon. One of the main challenges I would say when doing seed production is selecting new varieties determining what agronomic characteristics are included in those varieties, uh, such as seed size, standability, harvestability, disease resistance, market acceptance, and of course yield all have to be factored in. Well, growers told us that they needed better yielding pulse crop varieties that were well adapted to the Saskatchewan climate, and I think over the years, improvements in yield, improvements in disease resistance, and uh, the wide uh, footprint of pulse crop production demonstrates the value of this program. I think one major reason for the significant growth of the industry here in Saskatchewan has been the availability of widely adapted varieties that have helped to expand the footprint of pulse crop production here in the province. Our primary method of commercialization for new pulse crop varieties is through our variety release program where we make those new varieties available to growers royalty free. I'm Tom Workentine, professor in the Crop Development Centre which is in the Department of Plant Sciences at the University of Saskatchewan. The scope of the program is quite large. The program at the University of Saskatchewan is one of the biggest pulse crop breeding programs in the world. So that requires a lot of expertise and experience to make that happen. The CDC and SPG have had a long-term relationship, some 20 years or so with respect to the uh, variety release program. And I think through that relationship, a lot of good varieties of pulse crops have been developed and released and taken up uh, widely by farmers in the province. Funding coming from SPG has assisted us in developing uh, many good crop varieties over the last uh, 20 years. There have been many great achievements coming out of the breeding program at the CDC. Different market classes of most every one of the pulses that we deal with are, are being grown. So I think there's more and more opportunities have been made available to farmers in the province through these breeding efforts. Fifteen years ago we had a very insignificant amount of red lentil production, for example. Now Saskatchewan produces over 50% of the world's red lentils, so we've gone from a very small industry to a dominant world supplier of a staple food product for people around the world in just a, a short number of years. The main reason for that is SPG's variety release program and our partnership with CDC. Since 1997, we've commercialized over 100 pulse crop varieties through the Variety Release Program. And what we've seen is that we've had rapid adoption of new technology by growers and have better yields, better disease resistance, and better performing varieties overall. And that's really helped to strengthen the competitive position of the Canadian industry in global markets. We've made some good progress working with other collaborators around the world to develop genome sequencing in chickpea, uh, lentil, and pea. Those technologies will help us to find key genes related to things like early maturity or aphanomyces resistance or better lodging resistance. So it'll help us understand the genes that control those traits. The Saskatchewan Pulse Grower investment, in my mind, is essential to the continued success of the Saskatchewan Pulse industry in, in Saskatchewan. Our goal as plant breeders is to contribute to the success of the pulse industry by delivering better varieties. There's a lot of value that growers associate with their levy investments associated with new crop variety development, and that's been a long-standing uh, partnership between the Crop Development Centre and SPG.